Hey, hey buddy, you wanna make some cookies? Honestly, I'm not great in the kitchen and I don't know how to make cookies from scratch. Wait a minute. Yes, I am making these cookies from scratch labs. All right, so I am a scratch labs ambassador. What does that actually mean? And what is scratch labs anyway? Let's have a seat. Okay, Scratch Labs is a nutrition and hydration company that focuses on making products with real food, real ingredients for the best performance humanly possible. I've been using Scratch Labs for years as a cyclist and just because I like to eat healthy. Most of the time I eat healthy, healthily, healthful, healthy-ish, health, health, healthfully, healthful, healthily. I just like to eat. So what about the whole brand ambassador thing? Um, it's pretty simple. I like Scratch Labs. I use their products. I'd be using their products anyway. And so an opportunity came up for me to say, hey, I use Scratch Labs products and promote it on social media. And Scratch Labs says, hey, Brian, thank you. And I say, you're welcome. I'm not being paid by Scratch Labs. Um, Scratch Labs isn't sponsoring this video. I'm making this video because, well, I like making videos. I like the way Scratch Labs taste. And my dog wanted to make cookies with me. Ain't that right, Lincoln? So, let's get down to business. First thing I need, my handy apron. The Scratch Labs cookie mix. Uh, it is non-GMO, dairy-free, vegan, kosher, and delicious. We need a stick of butter, stick of butter. You mix in, so a cup of fruit, nuts, chocolate, whatever you decide. Got that, and one large egg. Got that. And my favorite kitchen utensil for when I'm rarely in the kitchen. Then it also has uh, options for bars or if you wanna make actual cookie cookies. I'm actually opting to make some bars. Step one, preheat your oven to 350. Bake, start. While the oven's preheating, now we want to mix our ingredients. Now I'm using strawberries and mangoes for an interesting mix. I think they'll, uh, I think they'll turn out okay. All right, next we want to get to mixing. One bag of cookie mix, one egg, butter in a large bowl using a spatula, hand mixer, or stand mixer. Now we add our butter. All right, now that we got that, let's go to our mixer. Plop that down. This bad boy. I wasn't lying, I'm not very good in the kitchen. I started out using the stand mixer and it's just not coming together the way it should, so I'm just gonna use my hands. That's better, and there we have it. One big giant cookie. I should just eat this. Okay, next up we want to get our pan. Don't need this anymore. Our pan, and we want to Break up the dough into little chunks. So let's break off little pieces. Sprinkle them around. Just little pieces here and there and there. So what I'm doing is kind of making little balls and then breaking off pieces of the little ball. That way it sticks together just enough to make shape in there. Now eventually we're gonna smash it down a little bit. Smooth it out really, not really smash it. So I'm giving it a little bit of shape. All right, so it's not completely covering the bottom, but I'm still gonna mix in and sprinkle in some of my berries. You know, at this stage, what's the worst that can happen? I want to leave a little bit of cookie mix to sprinkle some on the top. All 
All right, now, I'm gonna smash and level things out. Not too bad. Let's throw it in the oven and see what happens. All right, so that's going in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now I could turn on the oven light, but I want to be surprised. You like my slippers? Smells so good. Smell it. Mm. You know what goes really well with cookie bars? A bike ride, of course. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in Scratch Lab products, go to scratchlabs.com. Um, if you're gonna buy something, let me know. I have a discount code. It doesn't benefit me, but it will benefit you. Uh, if you wanna try a bar someday, maybe go for a ride. I'll make you one, maybe. See ya.